Hello Indie Game fans, part 2 of the best indie game content patches for June includes some significant updates to fan favourite games, beginning with Skull the Hero Slayer cross Dead Cells crossover. While there isn't a fancy new trailer, I do have some sweet gifts for you guys which has got me excited. This Korean roguelike platformer has been awesome in early access so far, and Dead Cells does look like a good fit. So excited, so be sure to get this if you have not. The sleek action title Stealthscape is a momentum-based speedrunning game where you try to get to the exit as fast as you can while avoiding hazards. This got its version 0.3.0 update which marks the halfway mark of early access. Most importantly, World D is complete with 15 new stages and post-world content among other quality of life improvements. Naval Oregon Trail The Caribbean Sail is a wonderfully made open sea adventure where you play as the captain of a ship and go on adventures. Almost 3 years after launch, the Fantasy Toggle update has been completed, allowing you to toggle on or off fantastical elements like sea monsters, ghost ships and more. I don't know why you would play without it, but a really awesome hidden gem that you should check out, if only for the 8-bit renditions of sea shanties and songs. Hello players, my name is Michael Suruhas, I'm the lead game designer on Insurgency Sandstorm. Insurgency Sandstorm has been growing and evolving since release. Today, we are pleased to announce our latest and biggest update yet, Nightfall, now live and free to all players. Nightfall offers a new way to experience our tactical FPS based on lethal close quarters combat and objective oriented gameplay. Now, you can do it under the moonlight. The medium sized team behind Insurgency Sandstorm have managed to find a nice niche for themselves in the crowded FPS genre, with their latest update being Operation Nightfall, which, of course, involves ample use of night vision equipment. It is available in co op against enemy AI that reacts to light as well as in versus with new weapons, new maps and more. I'm seeing you in the dark, but we'll react swiftly if you make a lot of noise or draw attention to yourself. Every single map in the game, as well as the brand new map Tideway, now has a night variant, all of which can still be played in PvP on community servers and limited time official playlists. Both security and insurgents will also be receiving night-themed cosmetics to spruce up their looks. Security forces get Mitch 2000 helmets with IR strobes and old-school Gulf War-era Desert Knight camo. Insurgents will see new hoodies with their hoods up, half-face covered shamag wraps, and digital dark red camo. Five new free weapons are also included in the update. You'll see two modern subsonic stealth weapons for the Breacher class, the AS Val for insurgents and the Honey Badger for security. And if you want to save some supply points, the Breacher will also have two new, more classic weapon choices. The Sterling Submachine Gun for Insurgents, and the Grease Gun for Security. Finally, the Insurgents will see a new integrally suppressed bolt-action pistol, the Well Rod. We'll also be introducing our first set of paid DLC cosmetics. We have a ghillie pack for the security forces, as well as a dark-themed Night Stalker pack for Insurgents. Both factions also have several weapon skins available with a dark red digital theme for insurgents and midnight blues for security. With these DLC, you can give yourself a unique look while also supporting Sandstorm's continued development. With the Nightfall update, it's now the perfect time to jump in and experience Insurgency Sandstorm. Omen Exito Plague 
is a choose-your-own-adventure title inspired by game books such as The Warlock or Firetop Mountain but with a distinctly eldritch flavor, releasing the Evolving Madness update which changes up the gameplay and UI. Poor humans tell their tales, plagued by their humble privilege of taking decisions. Pulling a single thread from the incognizable ivory architecture of the whole. You're a curious kin, indeed. Which string will you pull? What memorable story will you tell? Train Tycoon game Railroad Corporation from 2019 was a well-made title that had you building your rail network across 19th century North America. So the Civil War DLC takes it back to the 1860s where you're transporting rations and weapons instead. A new campaign and even the transport of troops factors in makes this a little bit more than just your average tycoon game. The action roguelite Juicy Realm is a decent one of these where you face off against a bunch of fruit and vegetable themed enemies, with the crossplay update naturally, allowing players on PC, mobile and switch to play together locally. new playable characters, 20 new weapons, improved pet skills and more also feature. The now not so indie Prison Architect is now a Paradox Interactive IP with support and DLC development being transferred away from the original developers and Island Bound is the latest update. Manage your island prison with a new variety of sea and air options from rafts, helicopters, docks and more. The reception thus far has been negative since according to them, it doesn't add much and is pretty buggy so do your research before getting this one. They say in the darkest of days, real help can come from the most unusual places. And when you think about Apon and her appearance in the Berkson's life, unusual doesn't even begin to describe it. The gift that keeps on giving is Children of Water, which, following the Setting Sun in update, which added New Game Plus, the developers have added a new character in the clan Mother Apan, a mid ranged fighter that builds magic to devastating effect. Cannot say enough great things about this game, so pick it up if you have not. Caterpillar, hold me friend, I'm soaring high right through the sky. See soaring beans, this must be dreams. I pogo this, I pogo that I'm longing for my brand new hat. Getting over it with Bennett Foddy has increased the popularity of the frustration platformer, with Pogo Stuck being a hidden gem from last year. The monolith of perseverance as map 2 of this game adding even more frustrating fun to it. The blade of life, it does its thing. Well, I do mind, I hear it swing. 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 
In doing my research for this video, I was surprised to find out that Subnautica Below Zero, the standalone spin-off of the underwater survival game, was still in early access, having been initially released in January 2019. Salad Days, most importantly, adds the greenhouse with a bunch of plants to grow and new recipes as well, but does add more story content and access to a new area in the Arctic Spires. Not quite sure how much more there is to go before the full release, but it sure is shaping up. Perhaps the best modern game to capture the feel of Final Fantasy Tactics is Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark, which has its first expansion in Missions and Monsters, where you are now able to recruit monsters and have them on your team. There are three new human subclasses, new equipment, crafting recipes, locations, changes to the Arbiter's guild system and more. It has named boss monsters and even larger scale battles, so kudos to the team for adding more to an already great game. Let's deal some death. And of course, Hades has once again got its next major patch titled The Blood Price, and boy, is it a hefty one. The developer's last update was in March, so this took a bit of time, but it's wholly worth checking out. It finally adds a character portrait for the vendor Charon, which now makes all NPCs have their own unique portraits, adds 3 legendary weapon aspects, new upgrade boons, new enemies, mini bosses and even a secret boss. Love, love, love this game to death. And this will be the last update before the 1.0 launch sometime in 2020. And what a journey it has been. Hey Charon, want to fight? Really looking forward to more people getting in at launch, but a real meaty update takes the number one spot. To see more of the big picture, check out these awesome videos and I will see you after the jump. Perfect.